Whilst Jesus was still speaking, Judas, one of the twelve disciples, arrived with a large crowd carrying clubs and swords, sent by the temple priests and elders. Judas, the betrayer, had said, The man I kiss is the one who you need to arrest. At once Judas came up to Jesus and said, Greetings, teacher. And then he kissed him. Jesus said, Friend, do what you have to do. So the men came and arrested him. When it was morning, all the chief priests and elders plotted together to kill Jesus. They bound him and sent him away to be handed over to the governor Pilate. Jesus, standing before Pilate, was questioned. Pilate asked him, Are you the king of the Jews? Jesus replied, If you say so. Pilate asked again, Are you the king of the Jews? Do you not hear what they are accusing you of? But Jesus gave no answer, and so Pilate was left feeling amazed. Now at the festival, it was normal for Pilate to release one of the prisoners that the crowd wished to free. And at that time there was a well-known prisoner called Barabbas. So after the crowd had arrived, Pilate asked them, Who do you want me to free? Barabbas or Jesus the Messiah? However, the priests and the elders had already spoken to the crowd and told them to free Barabbas and to kill Jesus. And so when Pilate asked, Who shall I free? The crowd shouted, Barabbas. Then Pilate asked, Then what shall I do with Jesus? The crowd shouted, Crucify him, crucify him. To stop the crowd from rioting, Pilate handed Jesus over. He was flogged and then sent to be crucified. As the soldiers took Jesus, a crowd gathered. They stripped him and put a scarlet robe on him, and after making a thorn crown, they shoved it on his head. They teased him and spat at him, and afterwards they put his own clothes back on him, and then led him away to be crucified. When they came to the place called Golgotha, they offered him a sour drink, but he didn't drink it. And then they crucified him. Afterwards, they divided his clothes. They put a sign on the cross saying, This is Jesus, King of the Jews. Two bandits were crucified with him. The guards, those who watched, and the two bandits all teased him. At noon, Jesus cried out, My God, my God, why did you forsake me? Then Jesus cried out with a loud voice and he breathed his last. At that moment the curtain in the temple ripped in two. The earth shook and rocks split open. Now the soldier who was looking over Jesus saw the earthquake and he said, Surely this man really was the Son of God. When it was evening, a rich man asked Pilate for Jesus' body so it could be buried properly. So he took Jesus' body, wrapped him in a new cloth and laid him in his own tomb. He then rolled a big stone over the entrance and walked away. The next day the priests and the elders came to Pilate because they were worried that the disciples were going to steal Jesus' body. So Pilate decided to put soldiers on guard in front and made sure the tomb was properly sealed. On the Sunday morning, Mary and Mary went to see the tomb. And suddenly there was a mighty earthquake, for an angel came and rolled back the stone and sat on it. He looked like lightning, and his clothes were as white as snow. The guards were so shocked with fear, they fainted. The angel said to the women, Don't be afraid. I know that you are looking for Jesus, but he has risen from the dead. And indeed, he is going ahead of you to Galilee. This is my message for you. So they left the tomb with fear and with joy. And then Jesus met them and said greetings. And they came to him, held him and worshipped him. Then Jesus said, do not be afraid. Go and tell the disciples to go to Galilee. There they will see me.